Hi, this is Ira Krakow. The name of this Blender video tutorial is using the Blender 3D 2.49A color picker. I wrote this tutorial using Blender 2.49A. If you've used any imaging software such as Photoshop, you're probably familiar with selecting a color using the RGB sliders. Of course, you can do this in Blender as well. However, there's a feature called the color picker which gives you a number of other ways of choosing colors. Anywhere Blender asks you for a color, you can use the color picker. We start by firing up Blender in the default scene. We're going to delete the default cube. It's already selected. So we press the delete key, erase selected objects, and we're going to add a UV sphere, which is space, add, mesh, UV sphere. We're going to accept the defaults. To add a material, we go to the panels, the material button. First we do F5 shading, then we highlight the materials button, then we click on add new, and to make the cube red we just bring the R slider over to 1 and make the, make the green 0 and the blue 0. Another way to choose a color is by the combination of U, saturation, and value, or HSV. The color picker lets you do this either visually or by using the sliders in a similar fashion as choosing RBG colors. The rectangle to the left of the call text has turned red to show the UV sphere's color. Left click on the rectangle to bring up the color picker. Drag the little circle on the color picker swatch to change the U. Dragging to the left increases the U value from 0 to 1. Dragging to the left decreases the U value from 1 to 0. As you drag, Notice that the U settings on the right change as well. There are two boxes in the lower right part of the color picker. The lower box shows the old color. The box on top of it shows the new color. The color hasn't been applied yet. There are two ways to apply the color. You can drag the cursor out of the color picker box into the 3D viewport, or you can press enter. In either case, the color is applied and the new color shows in the color rectangle. Click the color rectangle to bring up the color picker again. You can also drag the little circle in the saturation and value square. The saturation ranges from 0 to 1 along the y-axis, and the value ranges from 0 to 1 along the x-axis. Notice how the saturation and value sliders change as you move the circle. Drag the cursor out of the color picker to, into the 3D viewport to select the color. Click on the color rectangle to bring up the color picker again. There's another way to choose a color by direct entry of a hexadecimal RGB value. Each RGB value can range from 0 to 255, which is 0 to FF in hexadecimal. Here's a cream color, for example, with a hexadecimal value of FFCC99. We can enter this value in the hexadecimal value area. Again, we drag the cursor out of the color picker into the 3D viewport to select the color. Click on the color rectangle to bring up the color picker again. There are 16 presets which let you store custom colors in the color picker. You can select a color by clicking on one of the presets, or you can create your own preset, which Blender saves between sessions. That way you can create your own palette. We'll create a color and then select a preset rectangle, then control left click to create our custom preset. Finally, the sample button lets you select a color from anywhere within your Blender screen. After you press the sample button, the cursor turns into an eyedropper. Move the eyedropper anywhere within Blender and then left click to select the color that way. You can use the sample button combined with the image browser to sample a color from an image on your hard drive. Split the screen, position the cursor on the border, then right click and select Split. Choose the image browser. Navigate to the directory containing your images. Then go back into the color picker, click the sample button, and sample an image from the thumbnail shown on the image browser. Blender's color picker gives you a number of ways of choosing colors beyond using the RGB sliders. You can select from the U swatches, from the saturation and value square, or enter the HM, 
SV values directly into the color picker. You can enter a hexadecimal RGB value, or you can sample a color by pressing the sample button.